In this video, we will learn the basics of machine learning in simple terms. But before that, let's pose a question. How do you think humans actually learn? Well, we are always learning from our past experiences, and this will allow humans to make better decisions as they apply their previous experiences to the current situation. But then how do machines learn? Well, as they are made by humans themselves, they can only truly learn by the instructions they are given by humans. And the more instructions a human gives to the machine, the more the machine learns. Simple right. But what if humans can train the machines to learn from past data and do what humans can do much faster? Well, that's called machine learning. It's more than just learning, it's also making the machine understand the reason it chose its answer. So, what is machine learning? In simple terms, it's a way for computers to learn and do new things without being explicitly programmed. Let's break it down. Have you ever played a game where you have to figure out the rules by trial and error? Machine learning is kind of like that, but for computers. Instead of trying to figure out the rules themselves, computers can use machine learning to learn from data and make predictions or decisions on their own. It's a way for computers to learn from data and make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. That means we don't have to tell the computer every single step of what to do. We can just give it a lot of information and it can figure out the rest on its own. Now let's talk about some examples of machine learning. Do you have a smart assistant like Siri or Alexa at home? They use machine learning to understand your voice and answer your questions or follow your commands. It's pretty cool, right? Another example of machine learning is self-driving cars. These cars use sensors and cameras to gather information about their surroundings, and special computer programs called algorithms help them make decisions about how to navigate the roads and avoid obstacles. So how does machine learning work? Well, it all starts with data. The computer is given a large amount of data, and it uses this data to learn about a specific task or problem. For example, if we want the computer to learn to recognize animals in pictures, we would give the computer a bunch of pictures of animals and tell the computer which animal is in each picture. The computer would then use this information to figure out the patterns and features that define each type of animal. Once the computer has learned from the data, it can use what it has learned to make predictions or decisions about new data. For example, if we give the computer a new picture of an animal it has never seen before, it can use what it has learned to try to predict which animal is in the picture. But there are different ways that we can teach machines to learn. Let's explore the three common types of machine learning. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. First up, let's talk about supervised learning. In supervised learning, a machine is trained on a labeled data set, where the correct output for each example is provided. The machine uses this information to make predictions about new unseen examples. Imagine that you are trying to teach a little robot to sort blocks by color. You show the robot a red block and say, this is a red block. Then you show the robot a green block and say, this is a green block. And finally, you show the robot a blue block and say, this is a blue block. Now it's time to test the robot and see if it has learned what each block looks like and what color it is. You can do this by showing the robot a new block and asking it to identify the color. For example, you could show the robot a yellow block and say, what color is this block? If the robot is able to correctly identify the color of the new block, it means that it has learned what red, green, and blue blocks look like through the labeled examples you provided to it. This is an example of supervised learning. Next, we have unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, we don't have labeled examples. Unsupervised learning is a way that we can teach computers to find patterns in data all by themselves. Imagine that you have a bunch of toy blocks and you want to group them together by what they are. You could group all the red blocks together, all the blue blocks together, and all the green blocks together. That's kind of like what unsupervised learning does. It looks at a bunch of data and tries to group things that are similar together. For example, let's say we have a bunch of information about different customers, like how old they are and how much money they spend. We can use unsupervised learning to help us group these customers into different clusters or groups. We might notice that some customers are younger and spend more money, while other customers are older and spend less money. By using unsupervised learning to find patterns in the data, we can group our customers into these different groups. Finally, we have reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a way that we can teach computers to do things by themselves through trial and error. Imagine that you are playing a game where you have to move a little robot through a maze to get to a treasure. 
Every time the robot gets to the treasure, it gets a treat like a piece of candy. But if the robot gets stuck or goes the wrong way, it doesn't get a treat. The robot is trying to learn how to get to the treasure, and it does this by taking actions and seeing what happens. If it takes a good action, like moving towards the treasure, it gets a reward. If it takes a bad action, like going the wrong way, it doesn't get a reward. By trying lots of different actions and seeing what works and what doesn't, the robot can learn how to get to the treasure more quickly and easily. So those are the three main types of machine learning. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Each of these approaches has its own strengths and can be used in different situations, depending on the needs of the problem we're trying to solve. Currently, machine learning is being used in a variety of industries, from healthcare to finance to transportation. However, the potential impact of machine learning goes far beyond these specific applications, and the future of machine learning looks incredibly promising, and we can expect to see it being used in ways we can't even imagine yet. But of course, machines can make mistakes and have various limitations. For example, they cannot solve all problems like common sense reasoning, high computational cost, requires human supervision, security issues which can arise when bad actors try to manipulate the input data or model settings to trick the model and produce inaccurate results. Despite these limitations, machine learning has the potential to revolutionize many fields and make important contributions to science, industry, and society. The more data the computer receives, the more finely tuned its algorithm becomes, and the more accurate it can be in its predictions. But will machine learn so much that it becomes more intelligent than an average human? While it's still in the early stages of development, the future of machine learning looks very promising. This is the beginning of new ventures. Stay tuned and discover the future.